girl. Give me your image. Pop, 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 pop. She's so tired. Now, it's another good time to do it. Come on, pop, 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 pop. Good girl. Oh. Awesome. Hi, stinky puppy. We're gonna get your bath today. What do you think about that? Yeah, I think it's it's not that bad. <laughs> Is it boring? You've had baths before, you have. But we are going to give her a bath before we go on our trip today. She's kind of stinky. She's got the puppy rolling everything, getting everything kind of going on. Check our water for the temperature. I know she's not really used to this yet. So it is a little bit of a process for her to get a bath. I'm doing it in the tub because it is a more confined space. And she is a little dog, I don't, or she's young, I don't want to traumatize her with trying to do her outside, if I can help it. Um, <laughs> her hair doesn't clog up the, the tub yet. That's another reason why I do my big dogs outside. Oh, good girly. But it's important to get them used to having their baths now when they're little. That way when they're bigger, they don't fight you. And you can see she's just kind of going with the flow a little bit. Says, okay, this isn't, isn't too bad. <laughs> a couple grunts here and there. Again, she's not used to this whole process yet. She will be by the time she's grown. I use Tropiclean. I like Tropiclean, it is safe on their, or gentle on their eyes, good on their skin, they don't, they generally don't have any skin irritations or reactions to it when they get their baths, and it smells good. I use dog shampoo because it is formulated for their skin and their skin type. Human shampoos aren't designed for them. Now we're just using conditioner and what conditioner does is, again it's a dog conditioner, and what the conditioner does is it helps keep the dirt from sticking to their hair and it separates the hairs and just makes them easier and not really get knotted up, easier to comb, brush and comb. Nice, sweet girl. You're going to look like a big girl here, easy. Easy. Just keep in mind that since you're bathing your dog, you are pulling those skin oils and dry skin, so their their skin could be their skin could be a little more sensitive to things at this time. Um, if they're running around outside and they get in the thorn bushes, you just you never know what can affect them. So keep that in mind when you bathe them for a couple days after. This is Image's reward for being so good in the tub. And you want to make it as positive as you can while you're in the tub, especially at this young stage. <laughs> She's getting a massage. But if you're struggling, don't rush it. It, you know, it'll come out in the wash, literally. But just little steps. Reward them for being good this long in the tub and and stop and then come back later. And I know it's more of a hassle, but you'll have a happier dog in the end. Are you grunting because it feels good? I know you're chilly, Willy. We'll wrap you up here in a second. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so the positive bath experiences set the tone for later. The more positive and the happier and the more fun time they have with you, the better for later. Right? <laughs> this is what a herding puppy does for fun. When they're 
when there are no things to herd or your family doesn't allow it inappropriately. Oh, but Sue will have chickens. She will be herding everything. All the chickens. All of them. All of them. I'll see you next time on the only on the social network. You have 20 minutes left. Look at my mom's